Hello guys, my name is Piros Katsis and this is the first video of a small series in which we will focus on Elasticsearch. In this series we will connect to Elastic, we will store there our records and finally we will apply our search. Now, why use Elastic instead of our regular SQL database? Well, Elastic is designed to be very fast for searching even with large amounts of data and supports full text search which means that it can search really fast across multiple fields. It also supports fuzziness which means it can match results similar but not exact to what the user entered uh, which can be very hard in case that the user makes a typo or a spelling mistake and they can also order the results by relevance which is very important. If we do search in multiple fields we can prioritize the ones that we want so if we have uh, for example a match uh, on a record on a field that's more important and another one in another record in a less important field, we can show the user the first record higher in the results. Finally, at least in what we are going to use, we can also apply filtering in our searches to narrow down the results. Before we get started, a little bit of disclaimer. I'm not an expert on Elastic or Search in general, but I happened to work with Elastic Search in a production application, and at the time I couldn't find a lot of documentation other than the official from Elastic, so I decided to make these videos in case some other person find themselves in a similar situation with the hope that they can be helpful to them. Our scenario involves songs. So let's open this whiteboard or blackboard and we will have a search request uh, which uh, will have a search text and a zener. Now our song will have a song title, uh, the, uh, the name of the artist, the album title, a zener and a release date. Now our zener will be our filter so we can filter our results based on the zener and with our search text we will search in the song title, in the artist name and in the album title. In our search text, we want to prioritize the song title, then the artist's name, and finally the album title. So if we have uh, three records and a match on the first record on the song title, in uh, the second record in the artist's name, and in the third record in the album title, we want to display the results with uh, the first record first, the second record second, and the third record, and finally we will return our song response back to the user. Now let's take a look. In our project, I have an API project. If we go to our entities, we have an a zener entity which has an ID and a name, an artist with ha which has an ID, a name, and a collection of albums, and then an album that has an ID, a title, a release date, a zener, an artist, and a collection of songs, and finally our song, which has the ID, the title and the album. Now I used SQLite so you can also have this database because at the end of the series the code with the database will be available on the github so that you can grab them from the description below and I have my configurations, my album configuration, my arts configuration, my genre configuration and my song configuration. Also I have my app db context and an abstraction of that in my program.cs I register my db context. In the controllers I have a zener controller which lists all the zeners available in our application and a songs controller that uh, has only one endpoint for searching and uh, it now returns just an OK since we haven't implemented our search. And in my contracts I have a search song request which has uh, the search text, the zener, the page number and the page size. Also a song response which will represent a song and the search song response which uh, will have a collection of songs, a page number, a page size and the total count of the songs found for this uh, specific search request. First thing first, let's see how we can connect to Elastic. Let's close all these tabs and uh, let's go to our Nugget package and search for Nest and that's the Nest library that we want to add to our project so let's install that and now we need to register our Elastic client so instead of doing that in that program.cs let's create 
a class in the root of our project and let's call that dependency injection let's make that starting and let's create an extension method to the iService collection so public static iService collection and let's call that add Elasticsearch let's show this iService collection let's call that services and also we will need the iConfiguration let's call that configuration let's fix the type on the services okay first of all we will need the url in which uh, we will connect to the elastic so let's go to our app settings and uh, let's create another section and let's call that elastic and let's uh, add the url And that and the default URL uh, when you create an elastic image in the Docker it's the localhost uh, 9200. So let me copy that and paste it. So let's go back and take that URL. So let's say var URL equals with configuration dot get value and that's a string and that will be in the elastic and URL. Now we will also need an index. Index is a collection of uh, documents specific to one thing. For example, we will have uh, an index named song index and that's where our songs will be. But uh, if we had uh, another search in our application for example uh, searching for fruits the document specific to fruits uh, could be in another index let's say the fruit index for example so let's take our index index so we will have that in the configuration as well in the app settings i'm sorry so configuration dot get value that's a string and uh, let's say elastic and index and let's go and create that as well so index and that would be songs okay and finally since we are here we will also need two more things the username and the password uh, so that we can connect securely to elastic so the username we will have the default username that you get from when you first creating the elastic image and that will be elastic and for the password we leave it empty for now but let's go back to our code and take uh, the password and the username so var username equals with and let me copy that and paste it and change the index to username and let's do the same for the password okay now we need to define some settings so let's say var settings equals with new connection settings and that comes from the nest library okay now we need to pass uh, in the constructor the url so new URI and let's pass the URL and we know that's not null and now we need to specify an index so the default index will be our index and uh, finally since it's a development environment we need to say that server certificate validation callback and pass the certificate validation allow all so certificate validations dot allow all so that we don't get any uh, SSL certification errors etc and let's also define the authentication so it will be basic authentication meaning a password and a username and let's pass the username and the password and finally 
we need to register the iElastic client that comes from the nest library so service and let's add that as a singleton so i elastic client and now let's pass an implementation of this interface so let's say new elastic client and all we need to pass is the settings that we just created and now let's return our services finally let's go back to our program.cs and let's call that add elastic method so builder those services dot add elastic search and let's pass the configuration so builder dot configuration and we are good to go now about setting up elastic uh, you could create a yaml file and have a lot of configuration in there but since uh, me and the yaml file for docker image are not in the best terms we will just run uh, three basic commands when the time comes to create the bare minimum image for Elasticsearch. Let me copy and paste these commands. Let's put them in the dependency injection file over here. And when this image uh, will be created, we can grab the password from there. So we will see that in another video when we actually run Elastic and apply our search. Uh, I think uh, that's enough for this video. In the next one we will create our index, so we'll take all our records from the database, we'll map them to something specific to Elastic and uh, we will store them in there and in the third uh, one we will uh, finally apply our searches. If you like this video and you are interested in that Elasticsearch series, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a nice one.